Okay, so can everyone see my screen? Just making sure. Type a Y if you can. Yep. Yep. Sheldon, Warren, Sammy. All right, so, so it seems like everyone can see my screen. Okay, so welcome to the welcome to today's free DNA activation webinar, everyone. Um, great to have you all here. Great to see you all taking the commitment to watch this webinar and really see what you're in for. So how's everyone feeling today? Sheldon's feeling fine. That's good, Sheldon. Hen Henriette is feeling fabulous. Diane's feeling good. Jackie's looking forward to this. Great, awesome, Jackie, uh, as am I. I trust everyone else is. Sammy's feeling refreshed from Sammy. All right, so let's get this underway. Okay, so we'll start off with what you will learn. You, what, you will learn why you must activate all 12 DNA strands and how it corresponds to where planet Earth is heading. A little history of DNA, what it really is, why we have 97% junk DNA or dormant DNA, and what file letters are and why they're important. How we fell from who we really were. Clean the difference to help you activate your DNA. In particular, how negative life experiences around money and personal issues can hinder you activating your DNA and how to clear these blockages for full activation. So this is what you'll be learning in today's webinar. Okay, here's an, so, so now offer. Now this, now this webinar is to awaken you to the truth about DNA activation, how it operates, and how you can activate all 12 of your DNA strands and be part of the coming ascension cycle, complete your karma, and live a financially abundant and more fulfilling life. So I'll be making an offer to those who stay to the end to begin the process of activating your 12 DNA strands and be ready for the ascension cycle. You'll be more easily aligned with your mission for the planet, experience more happiness, and increase your income. Um, and now, now I personally experienced not only an increase in income when I did the DNA activation, but found it easier to connect with my higher self and step into my mission, increase my personal happiness and my income. Now, even if you don't get this offer, I am confident you'll get tremendous value in this webinar today. Okay, so who this is for. So now we're going to go through a few options here, and then I'll get you to type in the text chat. So who this is for? The first one is something in you knows you're not functioning at full capacity. It makes sense to you that your DNA isn't activated fully, and this has prevented you awakening your full awareness and connecting why your life is going the way it is and experiencing challenges. You know you're having a dormant DNA, having a dormant DNA is holding you back financially and spiritually and are ready to deal with it. The second one, you're doing well for yourself financially, but know something just isn't right. You feel disconnected from your life purpose and what you're meant to be doing. You intuitively sense dormant DNA and uncleared blockages is a big factor why this is so. The third one is you're ready to go to the next level and fully ascend. So now just type in the text chat which number you sense that you are. Just sense into it and type which one you reckon you are. Jack, um, Jack Lee says three, Sheldon says one, Henriette says three, Sammy number one but also resonate with number three, and Jackie's number one. And Diane's number one. Okay, Kathy's number one. Okay, so so a lot of ones and a lot of threes. It's a bit a lot of ones here and and a lot of threes as well. Shereen is one. Okay, so a lot of you are number one, and a few of you are number three. Okay, so now let's move to the next one. 
So things like negative money experiences and investment blockages, you can guarantee that stuff like this around money and other areas of your life um, is guaranteed to happen due to your DNA not being activated um, amongst uh, all the other blockages which exist within you and within your auric field. Okay, so now just a bit about me and my story. So I went to school until eighth grade. So I, so I did the standard from kindy till year eight. Um, I was homeschooled from ninth to 11th grade. I did busking in Fremantle markets using card magic. So I never needed to get a job. I've never, never worked in one. And I also did Cert 3 in business admin last year of schooling in TAFE. I've been on Today Tonight TV in 2017 through my through my card busking business and through business mentors I was working with at the time. Now what I'm doing is I'm helping people shift their problems and improve their lives. And I do that by teaching the spiritual and esoteric as well as clearing and healing sessions, healing meetings. So really, the, so really now I would say I'm more, I'm more like a minister in, in the sense that I help people shift their problems. I tune in, see what the blockages are, everything like that. And we help to shift it and give them steps to actually give them real transformation in their life. And then I, so then I not only do the clearing and healing sessions, but I also teach them the, I also teach them the knowledge and what they need to actually help them sustain it instead of just a one-off kind of thing. Okay. So now DNA activation. What is it exactly? So what DNA activation is? is uh, DNA activation is the process of accreting light into your morphogenetic field. This is so you can embody your higher self in the 3D and unveil your true essence, which is divine love. And just, and just for clarification for anyone who doesn't know what morphogenetic field is, that a morphogenetic field is another word you can say for it is auric field. So which means it's your higher light body, it, it, which exists beyond your physical. So it's so it's you you can't see it with the naked eye, but if you sense into it, you know it's there. It's like a high, it's a it's a much higher evolved, more evolved light body that you have. And we have many layers and many levels of it happening. So so like I said, DNA activation is the process of accreting light into it. And so you can embody your higher self in the 3D while you're on earth in your physical body and unveil your true essence, which is divine love. Now, activating your DNA is a must if you desire to ascend back to source and return home. Because keep it because every every 26,500 years, an ascension cycle occurs. There was a recent ascension cycle, which was triggered in December 2017. This is why we must activate our DNA. Otherwise, we can actually miss out on experiencing ascension with planet Earth. And we will end up just we'll end up recycling, reincarnating and just dying over and over again. So so really what's coming is a new super Earth, a new higher 5D Earth. So what do I mean by ascension? If you've been on a spiritual path, you've, you've, you'd have heard this term a lot. But what does it actually mean to ascend? All ascension means is, uh, is transferring into a higher, lighter, less dense, more energetic body to return to source. That is to connect with a higher spiritual life, leave this dense body life form and go back to our original source template. So in other words, ascension is really is going beyond our physical is going beyond our physical body and transforming it into a higher, lighter, less dense, less physical and more energetic, more light, which and that's how we turn back to source and leave this planet. And in the keys of Enoch by JJ Hertak and in the over self awakening by the same author. So he wrote both these books. He talks about the Adam Cadmon original DNA template and the further Enoch and Seth templates which are capable of accreting high frequency. And when these are activated, you'll be able to accrete and integrate much higher energies and frequencies. So the problem is rather than, than evolve, we have involved. 
So we've actually gone backwards. So you can see that in Dead Men's Secrets and Paradise Planet by John Gray, see involution dimensional template as well. So this is our, um, this is our subtle body anatomy. So this is what I mean when I say auric field. So this is our physical body, but then we have many, many other higher light bodies which expand for miles and miles in which we have many different layers and many different energy and energies and levels. And this is actually how we are connected to Mother Earth energetically because our, our higher light bodies and ourselves, we have the same anatomy as Earth does. So we have the same set of of dimensions, the same set of connection that with Mother Earth, which is why we're connected, and which is why whatever we do on some whatever we do also affects Mother Earth. So this is our subtle body anatomy and how it would work when it comes to DNA activation. So what do I mean by ascension? Although death is one way to leave this physical body, the problem is as the Indian yogis are well aware of. When we die physically, if we haven't resolved our karma or completed our, our life mission, we actually come back. So we've been reincarnating for thousands and thousands of years, repeating the same patterns and cycles over and over again. So another way to look at ascension is we're cleansing our karma and finishing our life mission so we can start to evolve and transform our physical body into light body to return to source where we came from. <coughs> So this is another way you can look at ascension. You're clearing your karma out. You're, you're actually doing your life purpose for once. So then you can actually evolve and really transform your physical body into light and then return back to source. So it's not hard to see that death, sickness, struggle is not a natural way of being. Things like those is not natural and it's not supposed to happen. So returning back to source. So what do we mean by evolving back to source? It's kind of, but I'll do my best to explain it simply. Thousands of years, even millions of years ago, we were part of a race of gods connected to higher realms of consciousness. And all esoteric literature talks about a fall from the higher from the higher realms. Many writings talk about a time when fallen lords or darker beings formed a rebellion against the higher galactic order, which resulted in everyone being cast down into lower realms until they ended up in this low, dense earth consciousness. Um, so things, uh, sources like the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Book of Enoch, and the Keys of Enoch talk about this fall, and even in Genesis 11, verse 1 to 9, so certain parts of the Bible talk about it too. The Secret History of the World by Jonathan Black, a mystery school publication, talks about the age of Saturn or Satan, when everything moved into dense matter and darkness. Genesis 1 talks about the earth being without form or void. The earth, so that was so talking about the age of Satan there, when earth was without form or void. So that so that's so that's basically what I, um, what I mean when I say evolving back to source and how it happened. So this is the nutshell version. So if you really if you want to go more in depth, you can check out these different sources on here. And there are many teachers who speak about this. David Icke, and some of you have probably heard of him. David Icke talks about darker lords representing this planet who know our DNA template, our weaknesses and send all kinds of negative implants, blocks, etc., into our system to keep us trapped and maintain control of the planet for their own ends and for their own personal gain. David Wilcock talks about a race of people called the elongated skulls constantly turning up in history. They were involved in the pyramids, Stonehenge, sacred geometry. They have super high IQs, etc. And Jonathan Gray in Paradise Planet and Dead Men's Secrets talks about evidence showing the truth of ancient civilizations so advanced in technology that still to this day nobody can replicate it. So while many people and many beings have tried replicating these technologies from back then, that they tr truly they have they can't they haven't been replicated to that extent. 
So, so that, so these, so these are different teachers who actually talk about all these different events. And nearly all mystery schools, and even the Freemasons, etc. So, basically, all mystery schools and spiritual esoteric know about all this. Now, the hamster wheel, the the fun one. <laughs> That is, the planet has gone backwards, not forwards, and when only only now we're starting to catch up. It's like we've been stuck in a hamster wheel, and when you imagine a hamster on its little exercise wheel, it's just running and running, and then it, it just it's stuck in one spot, just running, and nothing really happens. So for thousands of years, we've been reincarnating again and again, as I said before, due to unresolved karma and not doing our mission. The way this whole thing works is if you don't clear enough karma or fulfill your life mission, you'll just reincarnate over and over and over again. This is exactly why we must return back to source so we don't reincarnate again and again and we'll get to be in the higher realms and back to source and higher consciousness. So abundance, health and happiness are a normal way of being. Suffering is not normal. So truly, when we when the planet is going forwards and not backwards, stuff, things like suffering, health problems, financial issues, um, sicknesses, death, all of that would not exist, and it wouldn't even like no one would know about it. Whereas, <clears throat> whereas now because we've been going backwards, we're, and we're, and we're always attaching and holding on to things, that's how suffering ends up happening, and how and because we don't listen and we don't clear our karma or nor connect to God anymore or really go in our life or do our life purpose, then this is how this kind of stuff happens. So what is a DNA activation? There's a scientific and there's a spiritual perspective. Now DNA activation goes all the way back to Bible and ancient times. Like I said, we have involved, not evolved. And <clears throat> you will see it in the Bible where great prophets got their DNA activated and turned into light. For example, Ezekiel chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 6, Elijah 2 Kings 2, Enoch Genesis 5, Jesus got his in the wilderness, Matthew 4. And in Genesis chapters 1 to 5, we see people living as old as 969 in the case of, Me um, of Meth Messaliah. Clearly, they were in a different, more evolved world, a different template, and the DNA was activated to communicate with the gods. So they could, so they were living hundreds of years old without any effort or without trying. And Professor J.J. Hertak in the case of Enoch talks about his own experience where his Merkaba was activated. So, so even J.J. Hertak had his own experience. <coughs> Okay, now DNA strands. Now to activate your DNA, you need to awaken your dormant strands of junk DNA. It is a scientific fact we only use 3% of our DNA. That is 97% of DNA is sitting there not doing anything. Either that is the way it's meant to be, which somehow I don't think so, or else there's a reason they're dormant and switched off and no longer working. A full or involving from higher realms at some time is the only way to explain this. Now, scientists are now exploring into this. Because in actual fact, we are meant to have 12 strands of DNA fully activated so we can access 12 dimensions of consciousness and really access those higher dimensions. So, wow, can you explain this further? Now, here's how you can do this. Imagine a clock with 12 hands on it. And each hand or strand represents a dimension of your consciousness. And you can turn on 12 dimensions of consciousness, which would be an avatar. Yet most people on the planet have a DNA activation level of only three. Some people born as indigos or higher consciousness or higher beings um, to highly spiritual families. However, these are more rare. So the reality is most people on the planet today can only access the first three dimensions and live in a 3D way of thinking. They're, so they're physical, emotional, and mental bodies. 
So that so really, people can only live according to their physical body and not anything more. They cannot access their fourth dimensional self, which is the beginning of their soul identity, and cannot even activate their heart chakra. The 4D chakra, which allows them to experience and cultivate unconditional love. So this is why there's a lot of issues around the heart and around, around opening it and really using it. <clears throat> if you only have three strands of DNA active, you will stay stuck in this low density reality as everything is about the frequency of which you vibrate and oscillate. An A3 strand being only access, or only oscillates at 150 gigahertz. So the third strand one only oscillates at 150 gigahertz. And from what scientists and spiritual experts on DNA and ascension are saying, this is the last window of opportunity we, or we on the planet have to ascend to the fourth dimension and be part of the new earth. So this is where this is why this DNA activation and getting ourselves sorted is is more crucial than ever because this is the last opportunity we've got on the planet to actually ascend to the fourth dimensions and be part of the new earth and ascend to the new earth coming. So here's an image you can look at for a second of 12 strand DNA. Here's so like a clock with 12 hands here. As you can see, okay, so DNA strands are a blueprint of life and a huge key for ascension. And in between each DNA strand, we have 12 fire letters totaling for 144 fire letters. This is what our DNA is made out of. Because originally, when our DNA activated, our fire letters would activate as well, which then manifests as our chromosomes. So what do we mean by fire letters? Fire letter is an ancient term that was used in the Hebrew and Enochian teachings. They taught fire letters as a way to turn your body into light. And what, it, what the fire letter actually is, the actual fire letter, is a standing wave that flashes on and off, like a candle or a Christmas tree light. Now, and everything at the quantum level or the higher esoteric dimensional level is made up of fire letters. And as I said before, this is what our DNA is made out of. <clears throat> fire letters were originally our one language to use as a collective, but then everything went wrong. So Genesis 11, 1 verse 1 to 9 talks about this event briefly, where we had, we had it as our one language. Um, uh, uh, but then everything went wrong, and that's why we have the millions of languages. Fire letters are also meant to be activated and used for manifestation. So the tr the blueprint to, for you to actually manifest in your life is for, is the fire letters. So now we'll talk about how DNA and fire letters work together. Now think of it this way. DNA strands are like rooms in your house. That is, you have 12 rooms. And fire letters are like lights in the room. You have 12 light switches in each room for a total of 144. There are 12 rooms in the building and 12 lights in each room. And in order to fully activate a DNA strand or a room, you must turn on all the lights. Now further, if the room or hallway is full of junk, you have to clean out the junk first before you can get to all the light switches. And at this time, for the majority of the planet, only three rooms in the house have all the lights on. A fourth room may have a few on, a, a little bit, but the rest of them are dark and not yet switched on. The rest are completely dormant and not in use. So this is the, pro this is the big problem which we have right now. Where, in, where only three of our DNA strands are active, um, a little bit of four maybe, but then the rest are completely dormant, not doing anything. So hence why 3% of our DNA is, is, is being used and 97% is not, hence the junk DNA. And, not, and, and on top of that, you have all the spiritual junk, which you have to clear out as well. So to summarize 
it's more simple. Eh? There's a big building with 12 rooms in it, yet only three of them have the lights on. You'd wonder why. Then you realize it's because only the switches for those specific rooms are switched on. That's exactly, this is exactly what it's like for our DNA because our DNA has, though, has not yet been switched on. So only three strands are on and a little bit of four, but the rest have the switches on. And, and, the, and the key to this is actually flipping that switch. So just like lights inside your house, the lights will only turn to flip the switch. Until you use the switch to turn on the lights, you can scream, curse, shout, but it's not gonna change anything. That's the purpose of a DNA activation. And the good news is you can activate your DNA by clearing yourself of imprints and reprogramming yourself to align with your divine frequency and blueprint. And by clearing all your blockages and activating your DNA, your path to ascension, being aligned with your purpose and attracting and creating wealth becomes much easier. You, uh, you can activate your DNA, you can clear yourself and actually reprogram yourself. And when you, and, and about this time in a positive way, and when you clear all your blockages and activate your DNA, then you'll find your path to ascension will become natural. It'll become easy. Um, the problem this causes, the fact, now the, now the fact we only have three of our DNA strands turned on is a huge reason why we can't access the higher realms of consciousness or the higher masters. The DNA is switched off. And to complicate things further, there seems to be a tampering with the DNA by insertion of seals or implants. For example, the Zeta seal blocks the fourth DNA strand from plugging into the fifth DNA strand. And we die early and reincarnate over and over again due to not activating our DNA and having to fail to ascend our consciousness beyond the tipping point. This is Sophia commentary by Professor J.J. Hurtzak talks about this. We die early and reincarnate over and over again due to not, act, not activating our DNA and having failed to ascend our consciousness beyond the tipping point. Now let's talk more about junk DNA. <clears throat> And as, ex as, explained, as explained previously, scientists have found 97% of your DNA isn't actually doing anything. So they simply just say it's junk DNA. But who would believe that source would create junk DNA that isn't used? It's like it has 97% of its parts not working. So if you have 97% of your DNA not working, is that going to cause problems? You bet it does. This raises the question, what kind of problems happen from dormant DNA? To take one example, scientists have discovered the average human only uses 10% of their brain. Is there a possible correlation? You bet there is. So if you're not using your full brain power, can you imagine the kind of things you can do with your full brain power? So this idea is explored in a number of Hollywood movies. For example, Lucy with Scarlett Johansson and Limitless with Bradley Cooper. These show the possibilities and scientists say it is very close to the truth. <clears throat> and, Sa and Sammy says, I love the movie Lucy. Yeah, and funnily enough, I've never seen it myself. I have seen Limitless and it's quite crazy. What about the movie Inception? Um, yeah, that is a possibility. I mean, there's, there, as, a, as, as we mentioned, there's a number of Hollywood movies which explore this possibility. And Sheldon says Lucy is good, and Sam says me too, Sammy. Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it, but it would probably be a good one to check out. And people who can start activating their higher brain capacity can do things like speed reading, powerful healings, instant manifestations, and instant miracles, e.g. like Jesus and Elijah. This is how they, the, the Jesus and other masters were able to do the miracle and the manifestation that they did. And this has been proven in, in books such as Ken Wilbur, The Religion of Tomorrow, or Claire Graves, who are all masters in human consciousness potential. They discuss different realms of consciousness where you can become what's called super conscious. So this means not only can you tap into your own mind, 
but also the mind of your soul and others around you, as well as the whole planet. You can read a collective energy pool. You can speed read. For example, there was a girl called Eugenie who at age 15 could read, a page, could read one page a second with 100% comprehension. This was tested and proven. So this is what this is speed reading, where you can actually read one page per second and and comprehend a hundred percent of it and actually get all of it. So these are the kind of possibilities and the things you can actually do when you tap into the superconscious. So you can that means you can also read a, um, a whole bunch of people at once. And only I read it on that today. Yet, yeah, for example, can speed read. Yet, yeah, naturally, we think in pictures, not words. So somehow, we've lost touch with our full potential and capabilities. Now, could it be you're not using your full brain power because your DNA isn't working properly? Absolutely. Activating your DNA increases your brain power, increases your ability to tap into the superconscious and to speed read books and do instant miracles, instant manifestations do things like that you can even get a level where you can tune into books put them on your stomach and absorb the information like a sponge so in short you don't even have to read it at all to get all the knowledge so these are the kind of amazing possibilities and things you can do when you use your full brain power so so we've actually done a speed read course run by uh, by run by ed stratcher They've proven in Atlantean technology you can do things like this. There was a and there was a belief in Atlantis and Lemuria that you're able to do speed reading. And psychic energy talks about people who have experienced visitations from beings from other dimensions who are saying this to them and actually telling these people that they can speed read. So what can happen with DNA activations? In summary, it can do things such as increase your brain power, increase your ability to tap into higher realms, get downloads for financial masters and more easily connect with a higher mind to increase your income and net worth, improve your health. Um, E.g., so this, so this, so I realize this isn't actually my example, but this is Warren's, my father. So when, so when he got his DNA activation, he could instantly tap into healing himself and healed himself from food poisoning in only two minutes. And for myself, when I got mine, I could also instantly tap into healing myself and, act, and, and tune into other people and actually see blockages on them and shift it off. And I found that I had skills that I didn't know I had. So these are the kind of stuff that happens. And in increased healing and psychic powers, more easily step onto your life mission, clear blots, fears, subconscious sabotage patterns, which resolve itself without you doing anything. And Warren has said, when, when I activated my DNA, I noticed my ability to speed read books and absorb information went through the roof. It, yeah, exactly. And that's the kind of thing that starts happening. Uh, the truth is, would Source ever intend us to just be dropped on this planet, get sick, get into a job, have financial struggles, and then die? I mean, either because I mean, if that's the case, then he's then either he's a psychopath, or we're, or we're the ones who who are actually involving and not doing what we're supposed to. And as and as we've learned already, we're definitely the latter, unfortunately. So we were born to be healthy. We were born to be rich. We were born to be abundant. But we've fallen from our original state, plain and simple. And now it's time to come back. It, the time is now. And let's you now let's explore it deeper. So every twenty six thousand five hundred years, an ascension cycle occurs, as you as we've mentioned. Basically, right now we're kind of in one, and you can actually miss out. You can miss out on the ascension cycle, as we've talked about. The case of Enoch has talked about this. And there's a lot of radical shifts going on in the planet when the, where there's actually evidence. If you Google about magnetic pulse shift, there's actually evidence that it's already shifted to Siberia. Um, and there was, there was around 48 earthquakes in 72 hours 
So I forgot to change that, but it happened around sometime last year where, where there's actually evidence that it shifted to Siberia and there were 48 earthquakes in, in 72 hours. So, there, so there's no doubt we're heading towards it. People have been feeling the change. There's more disasters happening on earth than ever before, and especially right now in 2020. Um, 2020, as you know, has had plenty of disasters, like with the with the pandemic, with the Black Lives Matter protests, with with all that kind of stuff going on. There's, it's definitely showing that 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 would that would certainly heading towards a pole shift. And the reality is, the economic system is crashing. So if you don't have your DNA activated, you will not cope with the coming changes. And there's twenty there's 200 trillion dollars, the financial system is crashing. So you'll miss out on ascension to source. And, and there's a real chance you won't cope with the changes and the inevitable economic crash. And even if you've got money and find a way through the crash, who wants to be rich but have no purpose and miserable? That's the reality you face if you're not living your sole mission and having a pure connection to source. So it's scary times we're in right now. Scary times, but yet exciting times at the same time. If you're on, if, cause if you're uh, truly ready to change and go in your path and shift your blockages, it'll be a great time. But then on the other hand, if not, boy, are you in for a while, boy, will you be in for a wild ride? That's all I can say. So the good news is activating your DNA will connect you to source. You'll know your purpose. You'll know why you're here. Things will start to come together. At the same time, as you're activating yourself, you're going through a cleanse. You're going through an energetic and even physical transformation in your body and your mind and your soul. So this is the good news. When you activate your DNA and it will connect you to source, you will know your purpose. You will know why you're here and things will really start coming together for you. And then and at the same time, you'll also be getting cleaned. You'll be getting cleaned out. You'll be clearing out your spiritual junk. So you'll be going through one big transformation. So this is where master cleanse comes in. Think of it like a body. It's great to go to the gym, great to do exercise, great to activate your capability. But what if you're doing that with intox intoxified body? That's why going to gym, but then detox, eat, healthy eating, healthy living, healthy lifestyle is critical. So while you can go to the gym, if you continue to just eat your chips, eat your cookies, drink Coke, all the drink Coke, eat ice cream and all, if you continue to do all that, going to the gym, then you're, you're not going to see transformation. You're just going to stay the same or get, or get fatter. Whereas when you go to the gym, but, but while you're at the gym, you detox, you, you eat well, you live well, your lifestyle, it, then you'll see the true changes. So likewise, you need a healthy spirit to help your energetic, your etheric body. So the master cleanse is a spiritual detox. This is an auric clearing, karma, J seal, other seals, implants, and above all that, curses, takes of spells, even stuff we've never done before. It's like an enhanced karmic clearing, an enhanced auric clearing, an enhanced energetic, energetic parasitic, where we get into deeper layers. Actually getting what are called into uh, actually getting into what are called hosts and ho hosts uh, that actually settle themselves in your spine and Kundalini. So you're going to get a full cleanse, a full clean out. So now let's look at science. Now epigenetics, the science of epigenetics explores how you can activate DNA. Take Dr. Snyder, for example, and what he discovered. So epigenetics, um, or in other words, all my mother's fault or father's. So the old school thought is our genes control everything. The rule of fixed genes. And that whatever genes we inherit, we're stuck with. It's a new biological science which is focused on the ep epigenome. And epi means above or over. Epigenome is the mechanism of gene expression that lies above the genome itself. So epigenetics is really the study of environmentally induced chemical changes to gene expression. We're changing how the gene expresses itself without necessarily changing the gene, if that makes sense. So we're 
changing how the gene expresses it without necessarily changing our exact genetic. Um, the epigenome is passed down several generations along with the genes themselves. Um, epigenetics is turning out to be a, a complete game changer for the science world and the understanding of learning behavior and memory. It shows you can activate DNA or even increase your strands and spiritual capabilities by your intention and doing work around your DNA. So see Dr. Snyder, Professor J. J. Hertak. Okay, so that's so that's a bit about the epigenetics. So Sally says epigenetics changes my life and health. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. And when I learned that, it's it certainly changed everything. And when you and when you truly change your epigenetics, it really changes you. So okay, so now so now I, I hope I, I hope I don't lose you if I haven't already, but. We'll be going into the three-day particle conversion process here. So bear with me here, because uh, this will uh, this is how ascension actually occurs, and in fact, how the Earth is entering into the ascension phase. Now, Earth is chemically changing, and so are we. Scientists are already speaking about a magnetic pole shift, which is happening right now. This is the first sign of ascension. And if our frequency doesn't align with the changes, we will actually miss out. And so, so if our energy, if our frequency does not align and does not go with the changes, we'll miss out. It's exactly like having a radio station on the wrong channel. The point is, if you don't have your physics, chem chemistry, biochemistry, and DNA align with what's happening on the planet and converting, you will miss out on the ascension. Um, so the keys of Enoch says, says the planet will change metaphysically. People will ascend to a new higher dimensional earth. You'll be left in the old dimensional earth and you'll have to reincarnate all over again. Um, some, some even cataclysms, meteors, bombs, and the earth will effectively go back to a primitive, a primitive state for all those who fail to ascend out of the 3D state. It sounds crazy and it sounds like something out of a movie, but there's many who are saying this and it cannot be ignored. Now let's, let's explore this a little further. So the first wave of trans, transmutation day one, the Arcturian activation, so Arcturus, because it has to do with the dimension seven Arcturian universal stargate and this is aligning here. So during the first wave, the ninth, eighth, and seventh sub-frequency bands of the Earth's density one, so the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimensions, it, uh, the frequency bands in there, magnetic Merkaba field turns electrical. So in the first wave, the seventh, eighth, and ninth um, sub-frequency bands in Earth's density one, so these, these dimensions of the magnetic Merkaba field actually turns electrical. Negative charged electrons reverse pol from polarity to become positive charged protons and modes with the density two electrical antiparticle solar Merkaba, parallel Terra, inner Earth and parallel Earth. So the electrons actually reverse and become positive char positively charged and they actually merge with the second density of the electrical antiparticle solar Merkaba, so the higher uh, Merkaba the parallel Terra and the inner Earth and parallel Earth. And on the first wave of transmutation, the magnet, the, magnet sphere, the magnet sphere, the radiation belts of the ion sphere and the exosphere from Earth's surface um, are transmuted into a transharmonic photon field of cold burning hydrogen based superluminal subparticles. So the first wave of transmutation so all these different spheres um, existing right now from Earth's surface, the deeper ones, will be transmuted into a photon field, a transharmonic one, which will be the cold burning hydrogen based super subparticles. The next one is biology density two light, density three sound DNA, celestine and atomic transmutation. Human DNA and that of other Earth life forms has the capacity to hold dimensional sound waves and are designed to survive the three-day particle conversion period of the stellar activation cycle, if the DNA is activated and functioning properly. 
and you need to be able to maintain at least 4.5 DNA strain activation for this. So that you need to actually, so this is the minimum you need. So now, now day two, the second wave of transmutation, day 1.5 to day 2.5, the Orion activation. Now, during the second wave of this three-day particle conversion period, the solar wave infusion of the Orion activation brings the density three, dimensional eight, gold-like spectrum, and DNA and dimensional nine, um, silver light spectrum into Earth's atmosphere. So again, the, so the eighth um, higher gold light spectrum and the ninth the ninth one, the higher dimensions and the DNA will will be will be trans will be infused with into Earth's atmosphere. And what a negative charge electrons reverse polarity to become positively charged protons to proceed with the fusion with the inner Earth, the parallel Earth, and the density two solar and um, Terran shield and Merkaba fields. So again, the electrons change and become to actually proceed to fuse with the inner Earth, with the parallel Earth, and with the density two solar and Terran shield and the Merkaba field. So all of those. And during the second wave, the Orion activation, Earth's outer atmosphere begins entering to the, to the second of three stages of the sixth dimensional Hala phase Merkaba vehicle as the middle atmosphere enters the first stage of the Hala Merkaba. So, so really during the second wave, the Orion activation, or in other words, Earth's outer atmosphere will start entering into the second of the three stages of the sixth higher dimension Hala phase Merkaba vehicle as the middle atmosphere part enters the first stage of the Hala Merkaba. So now day three. Now the third wave of transmutation, day 2.5 to three, the Andromeda activation, inner atmosphere crust to core conversion. The third wave begins by the middle of day two initiation of the Andromeda activation as density three. Um, dimensional nine, um, base tone, silver light, and density four, um, dimensional 10, overtone, blue, black, sapphire light, move into Earth's atmosphere and shields as Andromeda activation begins. So in the third wave, um, the third wave will begin by the middle of day two. And the, the Andromeda activation initiation happens while the de third density, the ninth dimension, the fourth density, the tenth dimension, all move into Earth's and shields as the Andromeda activation begins. So, so just for just to clarify, Andromeda and Orion are higher, are higher planets. So those are planets, and uh, so and then Arcturi Arcturian, those are the, those are the higher those are higher beings, but they have their own planet called Arcturus. So if the indigos can wake up enough to do their job, all of this with the earth will be going on like a tyrant around us. But our planet will be in like a bubble of frequency that protects it. And by the time that everything stabilizes, you can blend this hologram into the inner earth hologram and we will have a relatively stable experience going through it. So the bottom line is the planet is in for a wild ride. Um, if we if we all can do our job and wake up enough, we can create a, like a bubble where we will be protected from what's coming. It's like getting an upgrade. So DNA activation is part of the indigos. If you're here and resonate with what I'm saying, chances are you're an indigo or else called to work with the indigos. There are three main types of indigos. Type one, there are blueprinters. Type two are activators and angelic humans are supporters. So that most of the planet are angelic humans. And indigos are here to assist humanity with the ascension process. So just type Y in the text chat if you resonate with when I say indigos. I mean, I mean, obviously if you're here, then you'd have to be that or something, but just type Y in the text chat. Okay, Sheldon, Henriette, Diane, James, Jackie. Yep, so 
so most so pretty much most of you and and Shireen. Okay, now let's explore further what the indigos do. <coughs> the fifth and higher DNA strands, they pull higher dimensional frequency into the Earth's grid. As the higher dimensional frequency is at its maximum peak within the Earth's grid, the race morphogenetic field opens into Earth's morphogenetic field. And as we mentioned, the morphogenetic field is the auric field or your higher light body existing beyond your physical. So, so basically what's saying here is when the indigos build their fifth and higher DNA strands, then they, then they will pull higher dimensional frequency into the earth. And as the higher dimensional frequency is at its maximum peak in the earth's grid, the morphogenetic field will open within earth's. The Earth's grid begins to transmit fifth dimensional frequency directly into the bioenergetic fields to everyone on Earth. The result of this infusion with the fifth dimensional frequency sets the energetic imprint for the fifth DNA strand within all the races. So when, when this infusion happens, the fifth dimensional frequency will set the energetic imprint for the 15A strand with all the races, so every race will experience it. This also includes those whose personal organic morphogenic imprint didn't originally contain the 15A strand and would otherwise miss out. So if you're, if you're an indigo, you'll feel, call, you'll feel called to do this. If you're not, you'll think I'm talking nonsense and I'm speaking out of my ass. So, so just type Y in the text chat if you feel called to do this or something similar. And James says yes, Sheldon says yes, Sammy says yes, Adrian says yes. Warren says this this is brilliant and Margaret raised her hand. Warren says this is brilliant, been on my path for my, a long time now working on this ascension energy. Shireen says yes, Kathy says love it, Diane says yes, Sam says yes, Henry, pretty much everyone. So now DNA activation recap. So okay, so now let's see so that so now let's see what happens when you don't activate your DNA. So so let's recap it. Any of the following can happen. You miss out on being part of the ascension on planet Earth your third eye becomes blocked. Your ability to attract and create wealth is much more difficult. It's harder to feel content and align with your path, purpose and mission for this planet. Attracting quality relationships is much more difficult. You're more likely to attract bad health and physical illnesses or diseases. So now activating your DNA. And first we'll go through some testimonials. So the first one is Steve Plummer from Queensland. Will is an old soul in a young man's body. He taps into the higher realms and sees things many can't. He helps shift you emotionally and spiritually. I've seen this firsthand as he works with others and experienced it myself. He has a genuine desire to help and it's great to see he's continuing his important and much needed work. If you ever get the opportunity to work with him, grab it with both hands. It will be transformative for you. Marketing strategist and sales language expert, Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Next one is Famida Zara Hamid from Chicago. William Black and I have not met in person yet. However, I've gotten to know him over the past year from participating in several City Awakening webinars. It is wonderful how the internet makes it possible for like-minded individuals from all over the planet to connect and interact with one another without having to leave home. If you just go by William's photo or his appearance, you will probably be amazed when you discover the high level of dedication and willingness that this young man has to serve humanity. I remember William being invited to assist on webinars presented by City Awakening. He is gifted with the ability to heal on so many different levels. Now, after diligent in-depth study and practice, he is well prepared to offer services on his own. I recently experienced a one-on-one -on -one DNA activation with William, after the activation, I experienced the glorious feeling of the higher realms and the presence of beings from the higher realms. There are messages of information and confirmations for me as well. 
Physically, I had experienced um, some healings in areas of my body where I had old injuries that I had sustained years and even decades ago. At the end of the session, I felt a new level of confidence, strength, and peace within myself. I also felt physically lighter and my posture noticeably improved. William takes time to explain the process. He encourages you to ask questions and he takes time to answer those questions. As he strives to help you understand, your results may not be the same. However, the services offered will address the highest priorities for your particular needs at the time. When you are ready to go to the next level and become who you are meant to be and to live the life you are meant to live, I highly recommend seeking out William Black and utilizing the services that he offers. So that's for me to, from Chicago. So Christine Evans from Western Australia. My name is Christine Evans. I live in the southwest of Western Australia. I have been on an upward spiral of spiritual learning since 2003 when I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of cancer. I have worked with many people on the physical, mental and spiritual levels. I eventually became an energy healer myself. I have dealt with the cancer and have come to realize that I must clear my energy field constantly and also deal with every aspect of my life in order to be the being I was meant to be. I met William Black in the latter part of 2018 through his father, Warren Black, founder of the Awakening Within Group. At our first meeting, William did an amazing clearing for me, which has helped clear the path for my future progress. Since then, we have worked together and I have learned several different ways of clearing from him. He has a great deal of knowledge, especially around clearing and dealing with dark entities, curses, hexes, and spells, etc. He has done numerous clearings for me and my family, and we are very grateful. William has been doing this work from a very young age and has a lot of experience in this field. He's also kind, compassionate, and has a lovely sense of humor. So that's Christine Evans. So now activating your DNA. Before you can, before you do any kind of DNA activation, you can get an even greater benefit if you've done a J-seal removal, karmic and auric clearing beforehand. The way you activate your DNA is by using specific high frequency codes and commands, as well as activating three DNA strands at a time. And to activate our DNA strands, we use a specific manual to say certain commands to activate them. We activate three strands at a time. Okay, <clears throat> so so now any questions before we get into the DNA clearing? Okay, Kathy says, does this work on doing of does this work of doing our own clearings have an effect on our family's DNA? Well, the, the truth there's there's different answers that can be said to that, but when but when you when you do the work and, and clear yourself and activate your DNA, I mean ultimately your fam it's up to it's your it's up to your family if they're ready to actually make that shift or not. And, and generally you'll find that as you clear yourself, you, you'll be amazed how much things will change around you. But at the same time, don't be surprised if your family starts calling you crazy and giving all those different labels. So the different happens to that because, uh, because ultimately it's, it's their own choice and it's their own path to walk. And if they're not ready to shift, then, oh, then, then they won't change and they'll just stay the same. Whereas when they're ready to shift, then when you clear yourself, absolutely, then it can absolutely affect them. So, and so to put it simply, they have to be open to that. So I hope, so I hope that answers it for you, Kathy. Victoria says, are we learning the process? Um, yeah, well, yeah, you're learning. So this, so yeah, we're learning the, yeah, you're learning the process of 
what it yeah what it actually takes to activate your DNA. So when you so when you so because activating your DNA and truly and continuing the work is not an easy task because it's not like it's a one off thing. It's a continual work in progress, and it it doesn't end until you ascend until you ascend or leave your physical body. Okay, so, so any more questions before we get into the clearing? Okay, so no more questions. All right, excellent. Hang on. What says activation? I wouldn't say act. Um, I would say so. Yeah, I'll I'll be doing an activation and a clearing. So we'll use two codes for this. First, we'll do the DNA. Then we'll do clear clearing. So everyone, just focus on this DNA image here. And inhale it to your body into your DNA, where your DNA is. And just with your intention, you can do that. Imagine it there, quite. And breathe in through the nose for four counts. Hold for four counts. And breathe out through your mouth for eight. Breathe in your nose for four. Hold for four. And breathe out through your mouth for eight. And just keep breathing. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this DNA be active each person here. Activate the DNA, the epigenetics. So it is commanded that their DNA be activated on all levels, on all dimensions, on all chakras. Now, to Asia in today. Activating the DNA template. Bring light into the DNA, pouring gold liquid light.
continuing to activate the pour the golden liquid light, pour the higher frequencies in. <coughs> okay, while it's activating, we'll now move to the next code. Now, just open your eyes just quickly and look at this code. Inhale it to your third eye and imagine it there and close your eyes again, continuing to take the deep breaths, four counts, four counts and eight. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this higher frequency master code be used to clear to clear any blockages or any imprints stopping each person here from activating the dna and the dna template and from really from fully from really experiencing the activation of the dna and what stop and what sabotaging stopping them from finding their path and going further Clear it from all 15 chakras, from all dimensions, from their auric field, from their body on all levels. Now to Asia and today. <sighs> Continuing to activate the DNA, clearing the blockages, clearing the imprints, the sabotages. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shifting those blockages. Pouring in the golden liquid light. Activating each person here. Pouring the energy from source. <coughs> Releasing everyone here.
continuing to activate the DNA to clear the sh and shift the blockages, the imprints. <sighs> Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Sammy's feeling good. Awesome. <clears throat> Helen's feeling relaxed. Sheldon felt some pain in my ears and it was released. Awesome. Diane's feeling calm and relaxed. Sam sleepy. Kathy feeling light. Jackie peaceful, tingling and numb. Adrian. James may need to change my wet shirt due to tears. Feeling calm. That's amazing, James. But yeah, it is a peaceful and calm energy right now. So now, now everyone just take a, a drink of water to integrate. Sam can feel it. Awesome. Margaret's seen the light and crying. Amazing, Margaret. Henriette feels so good. Awesome. Okay, so is there any any questions before we move on to the next step? Henriette feels excited for how she'll feel in the morning. Yeah, I bet. Awesome. Okay, so no, so no final questions. Um, Henriette, how do we, how, how, uh, how, how do we, um, the, yeah, the recording, there'll be a recording, Henriette. Yep, yeah, so. As you say, if you want to watch this again, you can watch the recording. Okay.
Excellent. All right, so now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so what's next? So experience a full DNA activation, master cleanse and miracles in your life. It'll be a life eight class transformation. Attract more finer answers, regain your sense to your life path, a more peaceful state of mind and much, much more. And all for as little as $40.70 per week. So keep watching for details. So this, what you'll get is eight live 90 minute DNA activation master cleanse, life transforming classes, unlimited access to the recordings of each session. So what benefits does it give? Our DNA activation quantum upgrade will help you if you're ready to be part of the ascension process and activate your DNA and get the following benefits. So you can focus and concentrate better and heal yourself and better connect with um uh, with your higher self and healing and other psychic powers greater connection with source galactic realms have your fire letters and strands switched on so you operate at your full potential without limitation clear highest priority auric attachments seals and implants and other negative energy blocks draining your life force energy activate and balance each of your 15 chakras so that you draw as much much energy as possible and solve the problem of losing energy during the day return back to your divine blueprint and ultimately go home <clears throat> so other benefits include clear soul level blockages such as golden web tears unnatural energetic implants negative spirit guides and distortions in your god spark activate your dna template to its highest energetic holding potential and then do a download from your higher self so you can embody this Find your purpose and mission for this planet. Stop self-sabotage with your finances. Activate your 144 fire letters to help you improve your creative powers of manifestation and activate all 12 DNA strands. So these are the different benefits that it gives you. So what's been covered? The first week, it'll be a full auric clearing plus the foundation of how auric clearing works. <clears throat> Second week, it'll be introduction to DNA and fire letters, sequencing and patterning, activate strands one, two, three, and four. And the third week will be a full karmic clearing plus foundations of karma, what causes karma and how to stay clear of it. Fourth week will be a full justice clearing plus foundations of how it works, how they came about historically. Fifth week will be a further detailed teaching about DNA, activate strands five, six, seven, and eight, and file letter activations. The sixth week will be a golden web tear and further etheric implant clearing, plus teachings why this happens to you. And week seven will be a full 12 archetype clearing, plus learning how each one works, why we have aspects of each one. Eighth week will be dark masters teachings how they operate and clearing lessons around dark masters curses hexes and spells and then there'll be a ninth week so this isn't a class but this is the final integration one it'll be a final integration revision and reflection and then activate the final strands of 9 10 11 and 12. so that's what that's what will be covered in the course the start date will be the 2nd of november the time it'll be 1 p.m so this will be Western, this is Western Australian date and time. So for Sydney, it'll start at, at 4 p.m. And then for, then for New York, it would be 1 a.m. in the morning. And the number of places 20. So who this is not for? You're skeptic and don't believe in DNA activation, full stop. You're not ready yet. You're not committed, nor an action taker. So who this is for? You love this kind of stuff and are ready to ascend. You're fed up with money and health problems and are looking for an alternative solution. You're an action taker and keen to evolve. You're already successful, but are keen to invest and evolve to the next level. So like I said, it'll be eight, it'll be eight online webinars over four weeks. You also have access to the recordings in your own unique member login plus a bonus ninth integration webinar with me to complete, to integrate and complete. So 19,997 USD, this is approximately how much you'd expect to invest in something like this. Today, is it'll be just 1,121.30 weekly installments of $40.70 each, or if up, or up front, it'll be 9.97. So 
So, and, the, and now that we'll go for the guarantee, you can attend the first class, and if it isn't for you, let us know any time before the second class, and we'll give you a prompt and courteous refund, no questions asked. So now this now this is a special incentive. If you if you if you commit to, to come today, you'll get a personalized one-on-one -on -one session with myself after the course is over to help clear specific issues where you need help. So now so okay, so now this is this is the payment link. Um for any questions and inquiries, this is my email, William at the awakening so now just type a Y in the text chat if you, if that interests you, if you're interested. And then, then I'll then I'll click the payment link and just go through it. So James, James says yes. Or you can or or, or if not, you can type I'm in if you want as well. Adrian says yes. Sheldon says time and date for PST. So what's the time for you right now, Sheldon? Helen says yes. Seven fifty-five for you. Yep. Okay, so yep, that's fifteen hours. So that means that for so it'll be it'll be the first of November for you. And for your for so in terms of your time, it'll be it'll be ten a.m. the first of November for your time. So I'll write that in the text chat for you. Ten p.m. ten p.m. one November twenty twenty. Sheldon, there we go. Yep. Okay. So now what I'll do is go through this. Just go through this quickly. Yep, Sheldon's in. Awesome. All right, so so I'll just I'll just change my screen quickly. There we go. So can everyone see my my new screen here now? Yep, yes, Sam, that's correct. There'll be two sessions a week. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it'll be on a Wednesday. It'll be on it'll be the same time, one p.m. But it'll be on a Wednesday, and uh, so then it'll be yep Wednesday. So it'll be Wednesday, one p.m. WA time. So for Sheldon, it would be so then for Sheldon, it'll be Tuesday at ten p.m. Margaret has doesn't have the funds at present. Yep, no worries, Margaret. So, so this is how you would sign up. So you just go down here. You'll just scroll through. You can read through here. Then you click here, sign up now. And all you do is fill your name, your first name, your last name, your email, everything. And then, then you can choose whether you want the one-time payment or the uh, or the the weekly payments of 4070 then or then you just click submit here All right. So now, so now, so now, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go back to the PowerPoint. All right. Now I'll put the payment link in the chat. So can everyone see that? Just type Y if you can. Yep. Sheldon can. Margaret, yes. All right. So, so people can see it. No worries. Okay. So now type now if you're in and remember if you come if you commit today you'll get a personalized one-on-one -on -one session with myself to clear specific issues where you need help it'll be after the course we'll arrange we'll make an arrangement
And and for any questions and inquiries, just email me at William at the awakening within dot net. Uh, what two days per week are the course? So for WA standard time, it'll be Monday and Tuesday and Monday and Wednesday at 1 p.m. But in your case, Sheldon, it'll be so yep, it'll be every Monday and every Wednesday. So then in your case, it'll be Sunday, Sunday and Tuesday at one well, at um, 10 p.m. Yep. There you go. So that's that that's for you, Sheldon. Yep, yeah, no worries. Yep, yeah, so. So, and just and yep. So once again, just just to make sure that you know, it'll be every Monday and every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And for Sheldon, it'll be every Sunday and Tuesday at 10 p.m. And for and then for Sydney, it'll be every Monday and Wednesday at four. Yep. Okay. So now just type type Y in the text in the text chat if you've signed up. Um, Jackie says I also earn a funds at present, but it sounds awesome. Maybe next time you do it, and can, maybe next time you do it, and can start saving towards it now. Thank you so much for today. Yep. No problem, Jackie. Okay, so okay, so now any final questions before we end for today? Okay, so no final questions. Okay, yep, no worries. Sheldon signed up. Awesome, Sheldon. Look forward to working with you. No worries, Kathy. Yep. Thanks, everyone. It was a good, uh, good webinar. I enjoyed it today. I enjoyed showing you all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.